Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I create fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. Um, and I have to preface this video with a couple of things. First, it's a little bit more of a casual video. I'm literally in sweatpants right now. I thought about changing and then I was like, no, I feel pretty comfortable. Second thing is these nails, guys. We're in the caveman status of quarantine. I'm also filming a how I do my beauty routine during quarantine. I'm waiting for a nail LED light to come in so I can do my nails with you guys on camera. So that's why they look so scary. So I had to address it because it's a beauty video, but let's get into today's video. Today's video is all about the Sephora sale. So if you don't know, Sephora does a sale a couple of times a year. Um, it's available for their members. It is completely free to join. You are rouge status if you spend a certain amount of money um, every year and then i think anybody can join the regular vib so if you haven't signed up go ahead and sign up it's totally free if you are a rouge member the sale actually starts today april 17th and it extends all the way until um may 1st if you are a regular member so just regular vib you get 15 percent off um, and that's from the 21st of april until the 29th of april um, i guess they also have the insider so I'm not really sure what the difference between VIB and Insider. I mean, you get 10% off and that's from the 23rd to the 27th. So anyway, let's get into today's video. I am the Rouge member, so I have a lot of my, my cart ready to go. So in this video, I wanted to share some of my tried and true beauty picks. So I'm including some skincare, some makeup, even a little bit of hair and a fragrance. And I'm also gonna share with you what I plan on purchasing for the sale. So if you're interested to see my favorite products and what I'm planning on getting for the Sephora sale this year, then keep watching. Okay, so let's start with skincare, which is really the first step of any of our beauty routines. Um, I'm gonna be honest and say that I am so, so picky about my skincare. I'm very, very particular about what I put on my face. I've done a lot of research recently on the ingredients that should and should not be in your skincare. So I actually buy most of my skincare from um, a spa in San Diego, California. I'll link their name below if you're interested in them. But there is only one skincare brand that I really buy at Sephora that I think has really good ingredients and that I stand by their products, which is really hard for me to say because just there's a lot of crap in a lot of beauty products. And so this brand is just really clean and has a lot of active and effective ingredients. So without further ado, I wanna show you two products by this brand. The brand is Biosense. The first one is their um, Squalene and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. This does a really good job at exfoliating the skin. If you don't know, lactic acid is an acid, so it's exfoliating, but it's also very hydrating, whereas a lot of other acids can be really irritating to the skin or a little bit harsh. So if you're kind of new to the acid game, lactic acid is a really great place to start. This is also really effective. And I actually found that I noticed a difference literally the first time that I used it. Um, so if you're looking for something that is clean, that has good ingredients, but you actually want to see results, I would really try this serum. It's great for so many different skin types. You really can't go wrong with it. So if you're kind of jumping into the world of acids and serums, this is a really, really good one. Another product that I really love by Biosense is their Squalene Rose Oil. This is also a vitamin C oil, so it's actually going to brighten your skin. If you are a little bit nervous about jumping into the oil world, like I am, I'm so nervous about things breaking me out. Um, this is a really, really good oil to start with if you're kind of new into that territory. Um, the rose oil I find absorbs into the skin really quickly, so it's not gonna kind of sit on your face all night long, like some of those kind of heavier oils. So if you're more prone to breakouts, if you're oily skin, but you still wanna see the benefits of an oil, you want that hydration and you want the brightening effect of the vitamin C, then I would really, really recommend this one. And I think it's a safe bet for so many of us if you're kind of getting into the oil game. Okay, so another really great thing to purchase during the sale is those kind of heavier price tag skincare devices so you might have seen like they have so many of them like the facial rollers they have like the the new device that has like gives you like shocks to contour your face I don't know it gets crazy these days you guys but I do have to say that there is a device that I really really love 
it looks a little awkward, <laughs> but I promise you it actually works. This is the Refra um, facial roller. So this is basically like a fancy and enhanced jade roller. If you are new to facial massage, then um, I would really start with a jade roller. A jade roller is a really great place to start, especially if you put it in your fridge and you can like deep puff your face. It's like I said, a really, really great place to start. If you've kind of done the jade roller thing and you're like, I need something a little bit more heavy duty or you are really, really puffy in the morning, this does a really amazing job at just like draining all of the fluid in your face, making you look more contoured. I swear when I do this every day, I really do notice a difference. So you actually like start down your neck, um, and then you can go on, you know, your jawline, you can go through your cheekbones up on your forehead and it really does a great job at like sculpting the face. So these types of items can be a little bit heavier in the price ticket area. So it's a great time to use that discount to purchase things like this. Another device that I actually do enjoy is this, uh, Foreo blue light, which if you don't know, blue light actually targets bacteria and it stops it in its tracks. So if you are somebody who is prone to getting those little breakout spots, this blue light actually really works to kill bacteria. So you put it on the spot that you're looking to treat, you press the little button and you hold it there for about 30 seconds and you can actually I think treat each spot about three times. So it'd be like a minute and a half on each breakout. Um, I do like this. Um, I think the problem with devices like this is I think after a certain time they may stop working, but I've had mine for almost a year and it's still going strong. So like I said, those type of higher ticketed devices, this is a really, really great time to use your discount to get something like that. All right, so let's jump into the next category, which is makeup. Um, so a lot of the products that I'm featuring in today's video, I'm actually wearing on my skin right now. So let's start with the order that we would apply the products, which would be primer. I have two primers to recommend today. The first one is by Laura Mercier. This is the Pure Canvas Primer. This is a silicone free hydrating primer so if you're looking to just kind of bring some moisture hydration back to your skin but you want something that's also going to grip to the makeup and make your makeup last longer throughout the day this is really really good like I said I've been looking in a lot of my products and checking the ingredients lately and this actually has a lot of um, pretty clean ingredients so it's not going to aggravate your skin or clog your pores you do have to be careful because a couple other of the primers in this line do have some pore clogging ingredients so just wanted to let you know in case you're kind of looking at the other primers just do a little bit of research and make sure that you know those ingredients are going to agree with your skin but like I said this one is very clean and actually does do a good job at hydrating and making your makeup last longer I also received a sample of the Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum, and I have just fallen in love with this. This is what I plan on purchasing for the VIB sale. Um, I'm gonna get the full size. I think it's actually sold out, but I'm hoping um, that throughout the course of the sale that it will go back into stock. Um, but this priming serum, again, is really illuminating, hydrating, and it actually does really grip your makeup, which I was a little bit nervous since this is like a particularly, it's like, advertised and marketed as a clean beauty brand. I didn't know if it was actually going to work, but I am actually blown away with um, how well this actually makes your makeup last. The next step in applying your makeup would be your foundation. Um, if you didn't know, I have a video um, from several years ago here on YouTube where I did like hyped foundation and I like talked about each one. So if you wanna see more about my opinion on foundation, you can watch that video. All of those foundations I still stand by and I think are really, really great foundations. This one is the one that I have been wearing recently and I wear this in almost every single one of my YouTube videos. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. If you like more of a lightweight serum -y foundation but you still wanna get a, like a decent coverage, like a medium coverage, then you may really enjoy this. This is also oil-free and fragrance-free, so that's really important if your skin is easily irritated by products. The only ingredient in this foundation that you may want to be wary of is it does have alcohol in it, which a lot of foundations do. Um, but overall, the ingredients in this is actually pretty good. Um, and it just gives your skin just a really even, um, slightly luminous finish. I'm wearing it on my skin today, and it's just one of my favorites. Um, it doesn't feel super heavy on the skin, and you can actually still build this up. So if you wanna do something really, really light, you can just take a brush and quickly kind of layer it over the skin. But if you wanna achieve more of that full coverage look, then you can absolutely achieve that with this as well. Since I love the foundation so much, I had to try the concealer. They just launched this recently, and this is the Pat McGrath Concealer. Um, okay, guys, this has taken the place of my Tarte Shape Tape. If you're a Tarte Shape Tape user, then you know you're like, what? Like, nothing has taken the place of that in like two years. 
This one is really creamy. It almost reminds me of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I think it has just slightly more coverage than that one, but it still lays really nicely under the eyes. So I have actually worn this a couple different ways. I've worn it as regular concealer under my eyes. I've also used this almost as foundation where I will put it on like the main points of my face, take a brush, blend it out. Um, and I've also worn it as kind of like a BB cream. So it's really versatile. You could even mix a little bit of this into your moisturizer and kind of get that, um, that effortless, no makeup makeup look as well. So I'm so, so impressed with this concealer. Like I said, it's um, got great coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, uh, blends really nicely, and it doesn't settle into lines. So I highly recommend this. To set everything in place, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is like my ride or die facial powder. My sister is actually getting married and I recommended this powder for her for her wedding day. Um, it does add a very, very minimal coverage. I don't even wanna say that it adds real coverage, but I do think that it just kind of makes your skin look a little bit more even and smooth, and it does absolutely make your makeup last longer. So if you have an issue with your makeup kind of breaking apart, settling into lines, and you're definitely gonna to wanna to go for a powder. I am in the shade two. This is um, just two medium. So super, super fantastic powder. So if you're in the market for a new pressed powder, definitely recommend this one. For bronzer, I have switched to a cleaner alternative. If you watched my 10 minute Zoom makeup tutorial, then I featured this bronzer. This actually has a really nice blendability for a clean makeup brand. I am wearing it on my skin today. Um, I really just think it's a good bronzer. It warms up the skin. It's very easy to blend. It doesn't have fragrance in it. So um, if you're using a more high end and bronzer, especially something from Chanel or Dior, I noticed that it was giving me a little bit of texture on my cheeks because the fragrance was irritating my skin. So if you're looking for something that's not gonna do that for you, then I really, really do recommend this bronzer. All right, so eyeshadow palettes is something that's also really popular to get during these sales. This is one that I picked up a little bit recently. It's by Dior. Um, again, it probably has fragrance in it, so if you have sensitive eyes, I would be aware of that. There's nothing super special about this eyeshadow palette aside from the fact that I do really enjoy the colors. Aside from the fact that I do really enjoy the colors, um, it's just a really great everyday type of makeup look. You can add a little bit of shimmer. Um, if you have blue eyes, these warm colors are really gonna make your eyes pop. Um, I'm wearing them on my eyes today. Um, but even if it's not this one, it's just a really great time to pick up an eyeshadow palette um, because you know eyeshadow is something that, that's usually a higher priced item, so you can get a great deal on it right now. Let's move on to lips. Um, I wanted to share with you a lip combination that I wear in almost every single one of my videos and almost every single one of my blog posts. Um, I just cannot get enough of this lip combination and I know a lot of people feel this way about her products, um, but it is by Charlotte Tilbury and it is a three-step pr process to get the look that I really enjoy. Um, I'm wearing the combination on my lips today. This is how well-loved this item is. Like This is a stub. There's like nothing left of this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. It's just a great lip liner. You can totally wear this as a lipstick and throw a little lip balm over it as well. And I pair it with the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Pillow Talk, which is completely practically gone. It's on its dying day, but I should probably pick up another one of these during the sale to get the discount on it. And then I finish it off with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Refresh Rose, and this is their plumping gloss, and it totally does uh, plump up your lips. So if you're uh, wanting to add some hydration and make your lips look really juicy, and um, actually, especially for the spring season, I feel like all of us want that kind of fresh, dewy, supple lip look, then this is totally the gloss for you. So we are on the home stretch. I think the last product that I wanna share with you is actually a fragrance. So fragrance is also something that is a little bit higher in price point, so you can get a really, really great deal on it. During this time, I've tried so many fragrances in my time. I do really enjoy the Valentino Donna Aqua, which I'm not even sure if Sephora sells that one, but I really enjoy that one. I also enjoy the Dior. I think it's the absolutely blooming perfume, but my most recent, love affair is the Erin Lauder Amber Musk fragrance. I really hope this is at Sephora. I will double check. If it's not, I'm so sorry. Nordstrom sells it, but I, I think that Sephora sells it. I'll double check. This one smells so good. It has kind of a warmness to it, like an Amber Musk, I guess. It's kind of like a, a warmer fragrance. It's probably not like a typical fall floral fragrance, but the whole line of Erin fragrances are absolutely stunning, and they do have a lot of fragrances that would be really 
beautiful and tailored toward the spring season. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed my picks, my favorites, um, and just gave you some ideas and inspiration of what you can pick up from the sale. If you've already shopped the sale, I would love to know what you guys picked up. I forgot to mention that some of the things that I wanted to pick up from the sale, um, I'm probably just gonna be picking up that Ilia primer in the full size. I also have my eye on a Ilia liquid highlighter. Um, so it's again, something that you would use on your cheekbones. It's like a liquid illuminator. So I plan on picking that up. Um, and I'm not really sure. So leave your picks below so I can get some inspiration and some ideas. I got plenty of time to shop the sale. I have all the way until um, May 1st because I am VIB Rouge. But thanks again so much for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.